Absolutely. I mean, if it wasn't fun, I definitely would have retired long ago. <laughs> Nathan Chen was just three when he laced up his first pair of skates at a local Salt Lake City rink. He was a natural from the start, especially when it came to those jumps. Let's talk about the quad. What does it feel like to nail it? That sort of love for uh, for jumping and that the love for rotating was just like something that clicked immediately. And I think I landed my first quad when I was 15. And um, since then, it's just always, uh, always a joy to be able to do them. By 2018, Nathan was doing more quads, more masterfully than anyone in the world. As many as six in one program. Nathan Chen. When he stepped onto the ice at the last Olympics, he was a serious contender for gold. Did you have fun in Pyeongchang? See, that's the thing. In Pyeongchang, I didn't have fun. You know, I was just so grounded on this one goal. You know, this is the one opportunity that you, that you have to win. But it was not to be. Wow. A major mistake there on the triple axel. After a disastrous short program, Nathan finished off the podium in fifth place. But the best athletes use disappointments as fuel. Nathan wouldn't lose again for more than three years. He's now a six-time national champion. Even more impressive once you know he did all that while balancing a full course load at Yale. As an athlete, we tend to have this notion that always 100% pedal to the metal. And, and if you want to have success, you have to like constantly um, sacrifice everything. And while there is some truth to that, I think that being able to spend time away from what your true goal is allows you to just be refreshed, to be able to have a fresher mind when you go into training. If Beijing is where Nathan finally wins his Olympic gold, it will hold special meaning. His parents emigrated to the U.S. from China 30 years ago. He's going in as the hands-down favorite again, but there is something very different this time. Nathan's perspective. A lot of people will project on what they expect from you in Beijing. What do you expect? Ultimately, I want to be able to go to Beijing and uh, just, you know, as, as cliche as it sounds, just enjoy that experience as much as, as much as I can. And by the way, it's not cliche. I mean, a lot of athletes talk about they want to go to the Olympics and have fun. You know, I, I've been thinking like five years, ten years down the line. I want to be able to look back on my career and be like, man, like, I loved it. I, you know, enjoyed every moment. And I don't want to go back and be like, I don't remember. I just remember being stressed out. And I'm just trying to restructure my thinking so that win or lose, I'll be able to look back and be like, that was a great experience. And we hope he enjoys every moment. Good luck to him. That's Nightly News for this Thursday. Just a program note, a new episode of Nightly News Kids Edition is streaming right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Lester Holt. Take care of yourself and each other. All hail Nathan Chen.